we have the world within our community. And what a great opportunity to heighten that, to showcase what is here and to add to the marvelous diversity that is here. We wanted even something bigger. We wanted a place where the whole city of Toronto and even beyond would come and be part of this process. You're gonna see an explosion of social inclusion. That's what I really see coming out of here. The revitalization project is a wholesale transformation of the neighborhood on 69 acres of East Downtown Toronto. It's creating a vibrant, mixed income, mixed use neighborhood and crucially replacing over 2,083 social housing units uh, through the project. Building communities is never about bricks and mortar. It's always about people and that's why the culture and the art of people has to be embedded in that foundation. So partnership really runs through the entire story of Regent Park revitalization. The partnership between Daniels and Toronto Community Housing was the starting point. And there have been many, many partners that have come to the table and have really made a contribution. It's a marvel. I hope everyone around the world can come out and see Regent Park because it, it's a true testament of hard work that was put together by the residents, Daniels Corporation, TCAC, and the city who put this all together. We started really with just one assumption, that there needed to be a place for culture. Beyond that, it really was an open question. First thing that we did was establish a community steering committee with the help of Daniels and our partners at Toronto Community Housing. The steering committee was involved in a lot of decisions that went from thinking about the tenants that would be involved in the makeup of the building itself, right through to the, the, the building. Seeing the plans that have been put in place to allow the residents that are here already to have involvement makes it hopeful that it will work the way everybody's envisioned it. When we learned that we were selected as tenants for this building, uh, we were definitely stunned. To be selected is truly an honour. It's a brand new building. It's set up as an art studio rather than coming into a space that, that wasn't an art studio and then we tried to make it our own. So we have a screening room in our space and we have three uh, spaces to put editing suites. And now this kind of gives us the venue that we can properly show a film. People will come in here They'll work on their missions, they'll meet, they'll eat, they'll socialize, and they'll develop programs and create social innovation. Here we will be able to work with all these varying other community-based arts organizations. The fact that the space was connected via multiple partnerships, both public and private, very much resonates with the way Pathways was created. We've done something here, you know. It's so cool for our kids to come to their music lessons and just pass by the hallway and see the Region Park Film Festival. And hopefully we start percolating ideas and they'll start scoring films. You know, that's the dream is that we have that kind of community collaboration. It's very exciting. We were very fortunate under the infrastructure program to receive $12 million from the provincial government and matching $12 million from the federal government. Well, I think philanthropic leaders should contribute to Regent Peak Park because there's a lot of innovation going on here. We were trying to achieve a goal of $10 million. And we are almost there now. We're closing the gap. And it's going well. The inspiration for the design of this building, I think, really began in the community. We were really looking to that community and trying to design a building which was welcoming, that was accessible, that wasn't intimidating. We wanted to bring some of these rich colors onto the building so immediately it expresses that there's something going on that is different from a normal office building. We had an extremely fast construction schedule, so we were designing as we were constructing. There were a lot of parties and a lot of people that sort of pulled together and made this happen. The work that Artscape, Daniels, TCH have done is exemplary of how when alignment happens properly and when a goal is properly set out, you can achieve great success. I think that the, the roles that are going on right now between the three partners that started off together has kind of reached a point now where it's really blossoming into the rest of the community being part and parcel of it. And I think that's the exciting part for me is to see all of the new people getting involved and that there's something for people to come to every night and every day to enjoy. This has been a complex undertaking. A lot 
lot of Absolutely. stakeholders, multiple stakeholders. So community stewardship has been paramount in terms of the values that we've had as a board. I'm so excited to have a, a dedicated place in Regent Park for the first time where people from all walks of life, all cultures, uh, people who are emerging artists and established artists can all come together and do what they do and take it to the next level and share it, you know, not just with Regent Park, but with the city at large and the world at large. It's the first time I've seen a building in this city that's housed this diversity of artists, um, art forms, and uh, has a link to the community in the way that it does. Just because I didn't have uh, someone in the family who was a musician or a poet, it's not an excuse anymore. Like, I can explore those avenues now. Residents in Regent Park just never had that before. And this is going to be uh, amazing, and it's just a real sense of hope. <laughs>